got you and that's it man go purchase big passports talk merch and support the family man and welcome to big passports talk thank you for your support what's going on youtube instagram twitter all platforms welcome to another episode of new york giants full access with your boy big passports talk and today's episode is are the new york giants building the new trio of receivers that could take us to wins now if you go through back through New York Giants uh, history let's just say the Eli Manning two Super Bowl years we had a decent trio of receivers the first one in 2007 being Plexico Burris being the number one Monty Toomer being a number two and Steve Smith being the number three those trio of guys got us to a Super Bowl in 2007 with Eli Manning and then in 2011 we had another good trio of receivers of Hakeem Nix being the number one one I say 1a and Victor Cruz being the 1b and Mario Manningham showing up that trio now Fast forward towards this year, 2024, a little over a decade later, do we have another trio of receivers that we could count on going towards the future? Although they're very young, Wondell Robinson being the slot receiver, he's in his third year. You got Jalen Hyatt in his second year. Can he develop it to be the number two? And you got Malik Neighbors, who's automatically automatically the number one, even though he's a rookie. Can this be the trio of receivers that gets Daniel Jones over the hump? As we know, Daniel Jones has never had a 4,000-yard season. Um, and he's only had one season where he's thrown 20 or more touchdowns. And that was his rookie year. Now, this video is going to focus on these three guys, the three young bucks, uh, I believe these guys have a bond already, and I do believe that these guys are feeding off of each other's energy. We have Malik Neighbors, who's going to be the number one receiver, very well-rounded, good route runner, strong receiver, good burst off the line. Route running is tremendous. The only thing that he has behind uh, against him is he has to get used to the NFL speed. I don't care. Uh, who you are is going to take you a couple of games to get to used to the NFL speed and he's a rookie now there's been a trend of rookie receivers coming in coming in and being dominant you got Jay Jettas he was dominant you got Jamar Chase he was dominant when he first came in Mike Evans uh, he was pretty dominant uh, coming into uh, the league Odell Beckham a former New York Giant receiver. He was dominant when he came into the league. So it's not far-fetched to think that Malik Neighbors can be that guy to get over a 1,000 yards for us this season in his very first season as a rookie. It's not far-fetched. I do believe he has the talent. He has the dog in him that we need as a number one receiver. And his route running is, is going to be on par with some of the top route runners in, in the league by the end of his rookie year. So this is the guy Daniel Jones is going to have to depend on um, when it comes to getting the ball to his number one target. It is going to be, be Malik Neighbors. Is that a lot of pressure on Malik Neighbors? Yes, but I believe he's built for it. 
I believe he's built for these moments. He's built to be the guy on the team. He has the attitude to be the guy on the team. He has the work ethic to be the guy on the team. And he just has that he he just has the want for it. So I, I, I do believe that he's gonna develop into a extraordinary receiver for us. And Daniel Jones is gonna have to find a way to get him the ball. This offensive line blocks. I think Malik Neighbors has a heck of a season. Um, at least 80 catches, at least 1,000 yards, and at least five to six to seven touchdowns. I do believe he will do that his rookie year, and that's not far-fetched. Um, then you have Wondell Robinson. Now, Wondell Robinson, he was a second-round pick uh, three years ago, and a lot of people in the Giants community were down on him because he's a 5'7", a 5'8", guy. But this dude is tremendous when it comes to his route running. He has that in his bag. He has he's very elusive. He's he's very quick and he's fast. He's gonna be the guy that has to play that uh, Victor Cruz role and that Steve Smith role. He's gonna have to be that guy. Can he be that guy like a Steve Smith who got a hundred catches for us in a season? Can he be that guy like a Victor Cruz that? was just dependable every time Eli Manning needed to move the chains. Even uh, Victor Cruz was even a guy that he threw to the ball deep to. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be Victor Cruz. I think Victor Cruz was an extraordinary talent. It just sucks that he hurt his knee in that Philly game, and he never was the same after that. But can he be that guy that we depend on to move the change in the middle of the field when they're trying to do man-on-man coverage, when they're bracketing Malik neighbors on the outside? Can he be that guy? I think he can. Um, he's coming off a 60-catch season. I do believe he can have that type of season again and have more of an impact this year. And he can be used in a, in a multitude of ways. He can be used in the jet sweeps. He can be used in the backfield as a running back. He can be used in a multitude of ways. I believe he is going to be the guy that we put in motion a lot this year as well. Um, you putting him in motion and letting him get into his routes and he can't be touched on the line, I do believe that's going to be a major strength to his game. And he's going to be dynamite this season. He's going to be that guy that's going to move the chains for us. He's going to be that guy that's going to be a pest. To the other team's defense he's going to be that guy that you could get him on a linebacker you could get him on a slot corner and he has so much a uh, uh, field to operate because he's in the middle of the field he's not on the sideline so you don't know where he's going to go i do believe that wanda robinson will be that x factor to this team when we need to get some things going get the ball in his hands let, let's see him uh make some moves make some break some tackles because he can break tackles even though he has He's small in stature. He can break tackles, and he just got that juice, man, to be honest with you. And he's the guy that's going to really test the defense, especially if this offensive line is blocking. Because if you give Daniel Jones time to get the ball to these guys, I think it's going to be a problem on the field this year. And then I want to talk about Jalen Hyatt, who can play that tumor role if you want to. He can be the guy that goes deep down the field and we can get the ball deep down the field when you're trying to bracket coverage Wanda Robinson and Malik Neighbors. He's that guy who can win those one-on-one -on -one matchups, those quick slants, those deep comebacks, those double moves. He's going to be that guy if he develops that route running like I believe he can because he works hard as well. His work ethic is second to none as well. He's a coach's son, so you know he's going to work. But can he develop into that guy that Daniel Jones can trust? Can he develop into that guy that we can throw a back shoulder throw to and, uh, and, and, and use his speed to his advantage? Can he be that guy that get that slant and take it to the house when it's one-on-one -on -one coverage? Can Jalen Hyatt beat one-on-one -on -one coverage this year consistently? Because if he can do that, he will be the number two receiver uh, going deep into the season. And he will take some snaps of from Slayton and if you can develop into uh, that decent route runner where you have to fear him not only as a speed guy but as a guy that can get into his routes he can get into a deep dig route and you're not going to keep up with him he can he can do a move and get to the slant route because you're backing off of him because you don't want him to use that four four three speed against you 
I mean, there's a lot of things that this trio of receivers can do for this team. This trio of receivers can take Daniel Jones to new heights. I truly believe that because we can attack you in so many different areas. We can attack you deep. We can attack you in a short game. We can attack you in slants. We can attack you in, in comeback routes because all three of these guys are explosive in their own way, which is a unique, unique, unique thing. It's rare where you have three receivers that are, that are extremely explosive, that can get off the line of scrimmage and, 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 and push the field and push your safeties back and push your DB back because you're worried about the deep pass. All three of these guys can do that. And, and I think that's what can make these guys special. Um, do they have to develop? Yes, they do have to develop. The most developed receiver is going to be Wondell Robinson because he's in his third year, and I think he's coming into his own. Jalen Hyatt, he, he has the most to develop. Even though Malik Neighbors is a rookie, Malik Neighbors comes from receiver U over there at LSU, and they ran the whole route tree. They, I mean, the 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 moves off the line of scrimmage he has that already like he's ready and he's a lot stronger than you think now the wild card here is Jalen Hyatt can he develop into that number two receiver that can be feared other than speed because everybody in the NFL has speed and all in if only thing you have to do is get in your back pedal and run like crazy just to keep up with him Jalen Hyatt can be ineffective, but if Jalen Hyatt can learn to run those slant routes correctly, if Jalen Hyatt can learn to hit the double move and then hit him with a curl or a comeback, those things are going to be open. The quick outs are going to be open for guys like Wanda Robinson, Neighbors, and Hyatt. Like, we can attack you with the short game with these guys, or we can attack you with the long game with these guys. Pause. So, I, do, I truly believe that this trio of receivers can be special. It's just that Jalen Hyatt has to develop. Wondell Robinson, I, I like him in motion. And when Malik Neighbors is just the alpha dog. Now, we will put Hyatt in motion as well, but I think Wondell Robinson being in motion like that is a, a lot more dangerous because of his route running ability. Not only is he can and not only can he build speed and come fast towards you. He has that quick twitch in his route running where you don't know where he's going as a DB, and that's and that's dangerous against any defense. So we do have the speed to get you out of out of man coverage. We do have the route runner to beat you in zone coverage. We do have the athleticism to beat you with quick screens and break tackles and get first downs and Malik Neighbors and Wandell Robinson. Hyatt has to develop that. We do have the speed and the route runner to beat you in the slant game like Wondell Robinson, Malik Neighbors, and Hyatt, a slant route is not that hard. He just has to get off the line of scrimmage, and he has to make his routes look different. Like last year, you knew, you pretty much knew the route that Jalen Hyatt was going to run if it wasn't schemed up tremendously, you know what I'm saying? So... This trio of receivers is really going to depend if Jalen Hyatt can develop that route running. If he develops that route running, man, how dangerous this team can be. And shout out to Darius Slayton. I do believe he will start the season at the number two receiver spot. And I hope he plays well enough to where Hyatt doesn't get that number two receiver spot until a year or maybe a year or two later. Who knows? But I do know this. If Daniel Jones has time to get the ball to these guys, it's going to be an absolute problem. And I can't wait to see uh, what this what this team could do. Like uh, one of like my co-founder, G Nation Inside Sports, Big Lou, the greatest show on turf, Big Blue Edition. It can happen. And let me leave you guys with this: when it came to those two Super Bowls. We also had that tight end that wasn't the greatest. He wasn't the fastest. He wasn't the best blocker. He wasn't some some guy that everybody just paid attention to. He was just there when you needed him. The first Super Bowl, Kevin Balls. He was just there when we needed him. 
or we needed a quick first down or we needed a catch up the seam or we needed a good block or we needed somebody to break a tackle to get a first down. He was that guy. 2011, Jake Ballard. A lot of guys don't remember him, but he was there for us. He came up with clutch catches that year. And he did what he was supposed to do that year to win games. I believe we have that guy, too, in Daniel Bellinger, who I think is a better version of those two. Daniel Bellinger could get up the scene. Daniel Bellinger could get those those grimy yards, those hard grimy yards to get those first downs to keep those chains moving. And he's a red zone threat, just like how Kevin Boss was. So we have the tight end that nobody really is going to pay attention to in Daniel Bellinger. And let's see if these three guys right here can develop into the next trio of receivers that takes us to the promised land, to a Super Bowl. And hopefully Daniel Jones is healthy and hopefully Daniel Jones has time to facilitate the ball to these guys. Pause. But I do believe we have our next trio of receivers here with the New York Giants. And look, the last two times we had a good trio of receivers and they were healthy, we won Super Bowls. So let's see what they can do. And Daniel Jones, you're going to have to get the ball to him, especially if that offensive line is blocking. You're going to have to get the ball to these guys because I do believe these guys are going to get open and I do believe we're going to see some fireworks this season. But thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that big blue join button and join the big blue crew and talk your talk with Big Pat Sports Talk. And cop you some merch. Thank you guys for copping you some merch. I will have the New York Giants full access merch coming out here soon. Uh, it's in review so hopefully it can come out and you guys can copy some New York Giants full access t-shirts um, it's going to be a dope line man so you guys look out for that but new trio of receivers right here in New, in, in new York Malik Neighbors number one Wondell Robinson the slot and uh, Jalen Hyatt can be the number two so until the next episode Thank you guys for watching. You know what it is, man. Peace. Hitting the mic, spitting the facts, coming with full access. Big Pat in the house with giant tactics. Eli's hand off, rapping the classics. 90s beats, we blast this in New York. Big Blue. Where the G-Men roam, Super Bowls in the vault, that's the Empire's home. Red, white, and blue, where the legends have grown. Giants full access, this the zone, got the tone. Big, 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 big